All right, now hopefully on this one you did both day three and day four. We're kind of shortchanging this one, so the performance quiz out will be next. But it's just fractions, so I think we'll survive. So I'll take a look at all, all of them. Now, remember, when we add and subtract fractions, we've got to have the common denominators, right? Same number. If they're not, we have to make them common. So number one and two, notice, I've got common denominators. So they're easy, right? We just deal with the top numbers. So I leave it over 7, and I go 4 plus 10 is 14, and we simplify 14 over 7 is 2. Number 2, we've got 4 minus 1, which gives us 3 over 3. 3 over 3 always gives us 1. Anything over itself always gives us 1. Now 3 and 4, now we've got to do a little extra work, right? How do we get 8 and 5 to be the same number? Well, we try to think of any numbers that they can both become, which doesn't happen very often. So, basically, we're just going to have to multiply them together. So I'm going to have to multiply this side by 8, but when we do it to the bottom, we always do it to the top, right? Because that's like 1, and we're multiplying by 1. It's kind of a trick. This side we times by 5, so I get 55 over 40 plus 16 over 40. 55 plus 16 gives us 60, 71 over 40, which I don't think I can reduce, so 71 over 40 is our answer. Which we can do that. It's all right to have a weird answer like that. Okay, number 4, 5 and 7. We're going to have to treat it the same way, aren't we? Times this side by 5, times this side by 7, and we get 20 over 35 minus 14 over 35. So 20 minus 14 gives us 6 over 35, which we cannot reduce. So we get 6 over 35. Now let's take a look at day 4, those same types of problems. So those first two, common denominator, so 3 plus 7 gives us 10, divided by 5 gives us 2. The bottom, 1 half minus 1 half, whenever you subtract anything over itself, you get 0, but you get 1 minus 1 is 0 over 2, which is 0. Okay, then 4 over 3 plus 4 over 7 times this side by 3, this side by 7, and we get 28 twenty firsts plus 12 twenty firsts. So add those, that would be 30 40 over 21 which we cannot reduce, so 40 over 21. Then number 4, whenever we have a whole number, we can turn it into a fraction, right? If I put 1 under it, and then say we'll multiply it by 8 to get us the same denominator. Or I could have just thought, I want a denominator of 8, so 2 times 8 gives me 16, so 16 over 8 is what we got. Subtract that, and we get 5 over 8. So there's those ones. Okay, now with multiplication, really simple, right? We just multiply tops and bottoms. So 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 3 is 15. Then we can divide those by 5, and we end up with 4 thirds. Here's another trick you could have done. Whenever you're multiplying, you can think of them all on the same fraction bar. Well, 5 on top and a 5 on bottom are going to cancel out, leaving me with 4 thirds. Okay, number 6, you can't do that, so you just have to go across 8 and 35. So if we're looking at 5 and 6 here, okay, 1 times 7 is 7, 6 times 6 is 36. Got to leave it that way. Okay, there's none of that crossing out we can do. 6, 3, 13 times 1 is 13. 9 times 5 is 45, and I don't think there's anything we can reduce there, is there? Okay, now the last two, division. Well, we can't divide fractions, but if we uh, multiply by the reciprocal, it gives us the same thing. So I would flip it, right? The reciprocal is it flipped, and then change it to multiply, and you always flip the second one or the one on the bottom, because you could rewrite this number 8 could be written as 13 eighths 
divided by one third, which would be 13 eighths times 3 over 1. Okay, now if I'm looking at number 7 here, okay, I can just go, you know, 6 over 12 or 1 half, or I can think through it like this. 4 is like 2 times 2, right? I'm multiplying, so a 2 on the top, 2 on the bottom cancel out, 3 on the top, 3 on the bottom cancel out. There's nothing left up here, so we make it a 1 because we have to have something there. It can't be 0. And then we have a 2 left over here, and we get 1 half. Can't do it on number 8 once we flip it. So we get 13 times 3, which is uh, 39. And 8 times 1 is 8. And we can just leave it like that because I don't think we can reduce that one. Now we take a look at the division ones on this side. Okay, so make that a fraction, 2 over 1. And then times 9 over 10. Now I can just go 9 times 10 and get, or 2 times 9, 18. 1 times 10 is 10. Then reduce that to, divide those by 2 would be what, 9 fifths? Or I could say, well, 10 is really 2 times 5. The 2's cancel out. That's like a 1 left over. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 5 is 5. Either way works. Number 8, I can rewrite it like this. And then rewrite it again like this. Make it multiply the reciprocal. Now, I can say that 6 is really like 2 times 3, right? But I can't cancel out the 3s because they're both on, both on the bottom. But 4 is 2 times 2. So I can cancel out a 2. 7 times 2 gives me 14. 3 times 3 gives me 9. And I'm reduced. So, there we go with our fractions. Make sure you guys are ready for that performance quizette next time. Um, I'm expecting you to get good scores on that.